And we are back. I really do feel like I'm having a hot flash now. Oh, Lord, good Lord. Help me. <laughs> you laugh now, but wait till you get to be up here and you just have a private summer and just start sweating in places you didn't even know you could sweat in. It's coming. Trust me. <laughs> Take good care of your body while you got it. Talk to people and talk to us about this movie that's coming out December 22nd called Sing. And it's how did called you Sing. It's an animated film. There's going to be a lot of singing. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's got some tremendous stars in it. I'm just overwhelmed that I got a chance to uh, sing on it. Uh, it's got Scarlett Johansson and Reese Witherspoon and John C. Riley and Matthew McConaughey. It's a must-see. And must Jen Faith Brown. And Jen Faith Brown. Of course. <laughs> Shoot, that's gonna be great. Now, do you? Uh, I was asking, do you have a preference for television as opposed to film? Because hmm. I know the theater, you know, in, in, being a theater performer, you know, that's instant gratification. Yeah. That that's just like right there in the zone. Yeah, I I love it all. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know that sounds like a cop out answer, but it's the truth. Uh, no, you know. But it doesn't sound like a cop out answer. You know, it, 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 you love what you love, and when you have a passion for what you love, it's going to always show in your work. Yeah, it's, I love the craft. Mm. So if I get to do that in television or theater or children's theater or wherever it is, I'm just thrilled and, and fortunate and happy to be doing it. You seem like the kind of person that likes the end product, but also one who appreciates the process. Yes. I'm so glad you're talking about that. I love rehearsal. There are so many people that say, oh, I can't stand rehearsal, but and, and people get frustrated with me because I'm like, can we get together and rehearse? Like, can we do it again? Can we yeah. do it again? I, I love rehearsal. I love the journey. I, I love the process. You've got to have a, a certain kind of uh, personality and traits inside of you innately to be able to have the patience to be on stage and to rehearse over and over and over. And I remember when I shot my very first film down in Florida, I, I didn't know anything. I did. They kept saying after the scene, check the gate, and I'm looking down the driveway to see what's going on down at the gate. And they're like, why are you looking at the gate? I'm like, keep going, check the gate. I don't. And that's when I said, I want to learn what everybody does on a movie set. I want to learn what everybody does on a television set. I want to learn what everybody does. And well, I knew what everybody did in the theater yeah. because I started in a the theater. They made me go to the theater. Oh, I'm trying to be and that active. gives you the respect for all those incredible people that are working in all aspects of production oh, as well. I, I, I could never understand how artists would treat the crew. Oh. You know, they, sometimes they can treat the crew so bad. I'm like, these are the people that's fooling with your food, fool. <laughs> what is wrong with you? They can put some itchy stuff in your underwear that you got to put on for a scene. You better oh, be yeah. nice to them. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You don't fool with the people that's messing with your food and your money and your medicine. That's it. And you be nice to them. <laughs> Man, and the people that you don't mess with them. What keeps you grounded, Jen? Oh, I, my faith, I think. Yeah, I think that keeps me grounded. Do sometimes you think that we are in a godless business? I don't know. I, I, I hope not. Um, I We're not because God keeps us in this business because we're too crazy to do anything else. Uh, speaking of that, if you weren't doing this, if you weren't writing, if you weren't keeping um, Only a Girl, uh, if you weren't doing the movies, what would you be doing? I don't have an answer for that. I can't imagine doing anything else. Go ahead, ask me what I would be doing. What would you be doing? I'd be dead. <laughs> me too. I'd be dead because I, I, I wouldn't want to do anything else. That's right. I, and I never knew, you know, like you knew that this is what you wanted to do. You knew that you wanted to sing. I ran from being on stage for years. I did not really? want to, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. And I always said, I'm not going to be rich and famous, but I thought I'd be a rich and famous physician. Till I started playing with the body parts in anatomy class in college, and they were like, mm -mm, this is not for you, dear. You know, stay in your lane. Where do you see yourself in five years? I hope just doing what I'm doing. I, I hope that only a girl reaches a lot more people. Um, I hope I get the opportunity to continue to work mm -hmm. and continue to Hope be, is not a plan, darling. Just get out there and I do the doggone thing. I will be singing and acting in all sorts of places. <laughs> that, no, I understand that you went to Germany when you were doing the, working with, on the play. What was that like to go and be in that space where a lot of this, this from the play happened? It was very difficult um, to, to see uh, 
my my God, uh, the the concentration camp was just a very, very difficult. Did it change you? Absolutely. Um, it, it's, it's really hard to, to speak about or to articulate what that was like. Um, there's really no, no words for it. Um, it's, it's just something that moves me to make sure that it never happens, happens again. again. See, and that's why you are here. That's your assignment, my dear. It has been my distinct honor and pleasure to chat with you and share your light with you. May the universe continue to open up and conspire for your great success. Ladies and gentlemen, Jen Faith Brown, go and see Sing coming out December 22nd at a theater near you. And remember this, no matter how big or tall, short or small, thick or thin, it matters not what skin you're in, Everybody needs some other love now and then, even Jen Faith Brown. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>